Hey guys, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. This video I'm so excited about because it's my first ever 3D puzzle. I just saw Karen Puzzle's whole video about Puzz 3D and it just happens to be the same brand that I picked up a few weeks ago at a thrift store and I thought, oh, I just need to do this video because I just can't wait. So I got this one at Savers. It's called Birdie's Perch Coffee Shop. It is from the Puzz 3Ds and it's not a very intense one. There's only 221 pieces, but I've never done one before, so we shall see if I am able to do it. I remember my parents got us a 3D puzzle when I was like six or seven, and I know that was a big flop. Like We didn't end up doing even close to anything to it, but I feel like this one is a lot easier. There's a lot more intricate design versus I think before it was just like a big building, or it was like, I want to say it was like Notre Dame or something. Anyways, it is a really cute coffee shop. It's by Charlie Wisaki's, and I'm just gonna dive right into this. Now, I since this has already been done before, I did peek inside to make sure that I had the pieces, and I noticed that it doesn't have any of the red dot sections in this puzzle anymore. So if you missed Karen's video, I'll leave her video down below because this is definitely inspiration from her, but she goes into about the red dots and those are areas that they you can cut out. So I am just going to use the back of the box to create the different walls and then we'll put it together. That's my thought process, but again, I've never done one of these before. So let's just get started. So with this brand, they use foam and then they have the image printed on it. I do notice that a few of these pieces already have a little bit of the paper coming up from the foam just because it has been done previously. And I do know that a lot of these puzzle shapes are pretty much the same lap. You can pretty much put any two pieces together. So that's gonna be tricky to make sure that certain areas are all in the right place, but we're just gonna dive right into this and see how it, how it goes. which is the first for me so hopefully it works out um but let's just get building this structure i'm so excited i was like really wanting to do it like halfway through but i resisted the urge but the first thing i know there's instructions is it bad that i don't want to look at them anyways we're gonna go with this piece here which is the front which is going to go right here We then have this little wall here, so I'm going to put that in like that. Okay, I think that's right. I'm having so much fun with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we have this one that has a little ladder, so I'm going to put that guy in. I feel like it might have been easier to build a structure and then like pop it into the space, but we're in it now, so. <laughs> now the big piece, which so sad that I'm missing that one 
piece, but it is what it is when you get a second hand, right? structure so next we have the roof and we have a couple extra walls so it's like above the red door we have this little piece and then is it this I feel like this is wrong <laughs> I don't know okay we'll see what can happen so I know this piece or do you think I should do the roof there first And then this piece goes here. Oh my gosh, this is hard. <laughs> oh, don't fall. I feel like this whole thing is very like, you have to be very gentle or it'll just break. Ah, uh, it's so stressful. Okay, I need to stop fid <laughs> fidgeting with it because it's just, I know it's not gonna be perfect, but okay, let's keep going with, I guess, this side where it's this piece of roof. So that one's easy. Okay. And then there is another set of walls, which one is this. So the last bit, we have these two pieces of roof and then all the little fun bits. So this side goes over here. Right here is the structure. I'm loving this so much. It's a little wonky, you know, but that's okay. I'm <laughs> having so much fun with it. So I'm just gonna add all these little extra bits. Gate, so it looks like we have the gate part here. And I'm guessing it's this, so this goes here. And then we have it open like that. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, and then we have our little, they look like pilgrims, but they're just people. So we're just gonna put them here, right? No, they're over here, because the dog is there. Here's the sleeping dog. And then we have more fence, okay. And then we have just a few things for the roof. We have the chimney, which goes over here. Oh my gosh, this is, I should have done this before because it's roof one. Ah, okay, hold on. There we go, is it in? Okay. And then we have this little piece, which I don't see where it goes. Oh, goes here. Here we are. And then we have a flag which goes at the top somehow. How? Oh, it goes this way. Here we go. And then the last little bit we have the carriage with the horse, which I guess you can put here or put it over here, put it over here. <laughs> this is so much fun. I just love the amount of detail that's in here. Like I love the little extra pieces. The dog is probably my favorite part of this. 
it was just a lot of fun. It didn't take me very long, so only 200 pieces, but it was trickier than I was expecting, just because, again, there's so many different walls and elements, but I had so much fun with this. I mean, I'm missing a piece, but honestly, I'm not that mad about it. I only spent $5, and oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Anyways, let me know what you think of 3D puzzles. Have you ever done one before? I could see myself doing more because this was a lot of fun and definitely a different challenge than normal. And yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.